Earth is surrounded by a system of magnetic fields called the magnetosphere. The magnetosphere shields our home planet from harmful solar and cosmic particle radiation, but it can change shape in response to incoming space weather from the Sun. The Earth's magnetic poles has flipped in the past. In fact, the magnetic poles have flipped up to 100 times in the past 20 million years. So what happens when the magnetic poles flip? Apparently, it's going to spell disaster on Earth. Let's take a look. By now, you already know how important Earth's magnetic field is. It protects the Earth from dangerous cosmic radiation that are harmful to life. Earth traps these dangerous radioactive waves away from the Earth's surface. Since the forces that generate our magnetic field are constantly changing, the field itself is also in continual flux, its strength waxing and waning over time. This causes the location of Earth's magnetic north and south poles to gradually shift, and to even completely flip locations every 300,000 years or so. That might be somewhat important if you use a compass, or for certain animals like birds, fish, and sea turtles, whose internal compasses use the magnetic field to navigate. Some people have claimed that variations in Earth's magnetic field are contributing to current global warming and can cause catastrophic climate change. However, the science doesn't support that argument. You see, during a pole reversal, Earth's magnetic north and south poles swap locations. While that may sound like a big deal, pole reversals are common in Earth's geologic history. Paleomagnetic records tell us Earth's magnetic poles have reversed 183 times in the last 83 million years, and at least several hundred times in the past 160 million. The time intervals between reversals have fluctuated wildly, but average about 300,000 years, with the last one taking place about 780,000 years ago. Since then, the field has almost reversed 15 times, called an excursion, dropping in strength significantly but not quite reaching the threshold needed before rising again. This is when we are most at risk, as the field decays and then recovers its strength. The last excursion occurred 40,000 years ago, and evidence suggests we are heading in that direction again. The South Atlantic Anomaly Today, we can already see the effects of a weakened magnetic field on our satellites in orbit. In the Atlantic Ocean between South America and Africa, there is a vast region of Earth's magnetic field that is about three times weaker than the field strength at the poles. This is called the South Atlantic Anomaly, and it's the focus of the CoreSat project being led by Professor Chris Finley from the Technical University of Denmark. Using data from multiple satellites, including the European Space Agency's three swarm satellites launched in 2013, this project is trying to figure out what is causing the SAA. This is a region where we see that satellites consistently experience electronic failures, says Professor Finley, and we don't understand where this weak field region is coming from, what's producing it, and how it might change in the future. Scientists first noticed the SAA in the 1950s, and since then it has decreased in strength by a further 6%, as well as moving closer to the west. There hasn't really been any convincing explanation of it, said Professor Finley, adding that scientists haven't been able to predict how it's going to alter. The CoreSat project is hoping to change all that, using the most detailed data available yet to study the properties of the magnetic field here and how it shifts over time. By probing the SAA, the team are hoping to see what's going on inside Earth's core that might be causing it. One possibility is that there could be a vast anticyclone in the southern portion of Earth's liquid metal outer core, which may be pushing out the magnetic field from the South Atlantic region. Another possibility is that the magnetic field in this region is pointing the wrong way. In effect, there's a mini-polarity reversal taking place. The SAA gives us a direct look at how a weakened magnetic field can affect satellites, as numerous spacecraft have reported electronic malfunctions when flying over this region as they are hit by cosmic rays. But it's unclear at the moment if the SAA has any relation to the Earth's magnetic field flipping in polarity, which is also something Professor Finley and his team will investigate. In some simulations, you see features like the SAA growing during a pole reversal, he said. It's not necessarily the case, but it wouldn't be a surprise if something like this was involved in a magnetic reversal. A glimpse. Nevertheless, the SAA just might give us a glimpse of what is to come in the near future. If trends continue, our planet's magnetic field could reverse again in one or two millennia. Prior to that, the field may continue to weaken, and within a century, we could be faced with serious problems. The decrease in geomagnetic field is much more important and dramatic than the reversal, said Dr. Finley. It is very important to understand if the present field will decay to zero in the next century because we will have to prepare. Well, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.